Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Ton Ton Talk Show where I talk and discuss with you about the upcoming Transformer figures. So the first thing we have here is will be these two new core class figures. So here we have G1 Starscream and G1 Megatron. And this further confirms my theory that the core class will be meant for playing with the upcoming Titan class figure, which most likely being the Ark. And the reason for that will be like they're going to make core characters to put in there. So we have now Optimus and we have Starscream Megatron. And the two Red Trap and Vetterbrick, I'm not too sure about them yet because they might be just because of their size are small. But now we can have the looking forward of the kingdom being the beginning of G1. So judging from Megatron here, I enjoyed him, but then he got a little bit of backpack, which is way too much backpack. And of course the legs are hollow and it is fixed on the position. And one thing really nice about this figure is that the gun that he was holding is actually kind of resemble himself in the G1. So this might be for the Starscream and other figures to hold him, which is really nice. And that will be the gun of the tank mode. And enough with Megatron, now we move to Starscream. And the first thing I want to say about Starscream is that the robot mode looks really nice. That is really G1 accurate. But the jet mode is somewhat chubby, I must say. I guess this is because of the small size and whatsoever. But then again, the face sculpt is looking really nice to me from this angle. So I looking, I'm looking for what to hold him in the future. So moving on to the next one. So about Air Razor, uh, at the alternate beast mode, I quite enjoy uh, the eagle form and the furry texture looks really nice. The animal got some really detailed paint and it got some shading on it. And also the eyes has some kind of lens onto it, which is really nice. This is the new characteristic of the new kingdom comparing to the old beast world. The all of the robot's details are hidden underneath. So when you look from the upper angle, the bird's eye view, you won't see anything. The wings have some joint to pull it out, so having a better wingspan. The robot mode is really slick and this is really Beast War accurate. And you can eas easily see that some details like the feet is the actual the alternate mode just rotating. And the two robot hands are hiding underneath the tail. And I'm really surprised that with this such a long robot body like this can be hidden underneath a ego body. The third picture might just be a joke of Hasbro, but it shows us that how Air Razor is transforming, which the gimmick of replacing the head up and down like that. And now we come up to Dinobot. Different than Megatron or Rat Trap, Dinobot has the design pretty much similar to Beast Wars rather than a real raptor. The dinosaur skin is mostly covered really nice with some only a little bit of yellow robot kibble, but that is not too much. And looking onto the skin surface, I guess this is just plastic. And because like the rubbery skin material just for the Megatron will be on the leader because that will cover the price. And other than that, the amounts of joint we have in the robot mode is really impressive. Definitely get going to get a, a lot of great posts. The robot mode is pretty much perfect, I must say. And I'm really impressed of how they're handling the chest. And beside that, we doesn't see any extra kibbles. And the accessory including this, which is also really nice. We have a spinning shield and a rapier. And also, if I'm not mistaken, we also have a golden disc. And now we talked about the leader. So the next kingdom leader is Ultra Magnus. And I must say, this is a disappointment. I speculate a lot about Ultra Magnus returning kingdom would change the whole design and etc. But the shame thing here is that they still use the same design of Siege. Just a little bit of front section of the vehicle mode, so it looks like an Earth vehicle. Other than that, we still have the Ultra Magnus, same as Siege. If you actually look at this picture, this is the same toy we have with Siege. The colors and everything is the same. And if you look at the figures himself, that is not a really bad model. We can say really good, but using the same mode, just changing a little bit for a leader. And other than that, it's a big character leader figures. And he's, he's, come, he's gonna come back in Kingdom. This is shows my disappointment for Hasbro for that. And I'm actually, I'm gonna really consider having this guy in my collection or not. Because the problem here is that like with Earthrise Optimus and Siege Optimus, they're the two separate figures. And the Earthrise Opt Optimus is really good. But here with Ultra Magnus, I don't see any difference at all. This is a different case because if most of the people are gonna tell me, hey, they're gonna release again RC and Optimus in Kingdom. But that is okay because the figures are the same and this is a chance for people who weren't able to get the figures before. But with Ultra Magnus here, 
they introduced him as a brand new figure with the brand new truck mode but then again it's still the same figures so i'm really gonna consider if i'm gonna get this guy or not the upcoming fossilizer we have is Rectonite and being back to a more traditional fossilizer figures which is the same as um, Paleo Tracks. he's a parts forming so judging from this I see this is a really nice robot mode and of course he can he transform from a Triceraptor and he can attach to other figures as well and here we have him attaching with Huffer so he probably gonna be a Maximal and one thing I really enjoy about this guy is that he actually got a really nice dinosaur head, so that is a really nice detail if you want some dinosaur heads as a shield. And I'm, I'm really looking forward for this guy because I have always liked lens-like and shield weaponry. To me, they are really impressive, and I hope that I can get this guy for review soon. And moving on, of course, here we have the next one is Huffer. And here's a brand new mode, I suppose. He got a pretty much a big kibble on the back when he transformed. But the nice thing is that he can attach Prime's trailer which is really nice and I'm not too fond of this guy it G1 so I am really hope that he can change some in me and from the vehicle mode pictures you can see that, that the, the two smokestacks are clearly, clearly his arms and of course the entire front section will be transformed as a back cable as well and I hope that will be re uh, removable so that will become a really, really nice shield and moving on the final figures I want to talk about is the Voyager class Kingdom Inferno and he's still, his, he's still the G1 Inferno we all know and love but then again, with this kind of figures, I cannot talk too much about the design because the overall design is similar to the G1. So I will have to actually hold the figures onto my hand to actually confirm about it and to talk about it. And so that is wrap up all my news for today's Tranton Tech Show. Be sure to check out my other content and subscribe if you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And if you feel like you can buy me a coffee for supporting with the future figures, feel free to do that. The link is in the description below. So that could be it for today guys, turn on out.